Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Guy, and you guys are watching on Wrestling. So, I just did my raw review. I did didn't watch SmackDown because a lot of stuff has been happening. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna do my NXT prediction as well as my NXT review. Uh, yes. So I basically have five predictions for my NXT review. Uh, for my NXT predictions for NXT tonight. Well, I'm thinking. The first prediction of Roderick Strong and Velveteen Dream are going to have a, ma- a title match. Because the reason why I believe that is because if the Street Profits had a match, pro- a rematch to the Undisputed Era prior to after TakeOver, why isn't Roderick Strong getting one? That's the, that's the question of that, too. That's kind of my big thing. My second prediction is Rhea Ripley... And Shayna Baszler are going to do a contract signing or they're going to do a promo war because, like I said, like I saw last week, Rhea Ripley has been dogging. Like, she is going to beat Shayna. Like, this is this is the this is the fight I've kind of been waiting for because I've been wanting to know what's the, like, what's the big rivalry between the two. Because now that we're going to be able to see them more often, and it's not going to be like a week in advance, but... I'm telling you, I believe that the rivalry is happening because Shane has been she's beaten everybody except Rhea, and I think Rhea's gonna be that that excellent challenge for her because nobody just walks up to Shayna Baszler and steals the mic from her. That you don't do that. And then just says, You haven't beaten me, bitch. That's that's kind of really like a disrespect, but it's hilarious though. And I'm telling you. And I'm telling you. But my third prediction would be that the, the Sweet Profit, like the thing is, the Sweet Profit is messed up. And I know they're probably gonna have a, they're gonna probably have a tag match against the Undisputed Era for the tag titles tonight. Or they're gonna wait till War Games, which is in another which I would wanna wait I would wait till War Games to do that match because I think all this is gonna be like the prelude like kinda like the prelude to war to war games. And I believe this, why I believe this, guys, is like this. The Street Profits and the Undisputed Era are great. They are great competition against each other. I like I like Angelo Dawkins. I like Tyrone. Uh, I like them. I really do. I like the Street Profits. They're really fun. They love to just party. They're not really just party dudes. Like, they're, they're really cool guys. They're kind of like Zack Ryder, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I believe a lot of things are going to happen tonight. I believe um, the guy, uh, Jordan Miles, who won the breakout tournament, is going to cash in. He'll probably get his NXT champion opportunity. He's probably going to go against Adam Cole soon. Or he's probably going to go against the team dream. Or on Roger Strong. Because I feel like, and what I mean, this is like my, this is like a fourth prediction. What I feel like he's going to do it. At some point, because Jordan Miles is this guy that they they they're they're trying to elevate to start like to make him a big NXT superstar, and I get it because that's the thing. I, and I'm and I'm kind of throwing you guys a bone here. I kind of feel like if they're gonna elevate him, they need to elevate him quick. The crowd loves him like Bronson Reed. They love these guys, these breakout tournament guys. And now that it's like you know. Like I said, I think. Sorry. sorry about the background, guys. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for this. Like I said, I believe a lot of things at NXT. Like, I believe a bunch of things because NXT is like that one. It's like the. It's kind of like the diamond. It's like the diamond in the rough, but I believe this. And this is my fifth prediction. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Jordan Miles and what I think they're going to do. This is, I'm going to give you guys an extra prediction because you guys like my stuff. You guys will like my, my information that I'm giving you. I'm not going to. Like I said, I'm going to do the NXT review tonight. I'm not waiting until the next day to do it. I'm doing it. To, to, and I'm doing the NXT and the NXT UK. So you guys will get a double. You guys are going to get a double, uh, a single helping, but a double helping. So what I mean by my fifth prediction will be this. There will be another WWE. There will be another contract on it. 
You know what I mean? My fifth prediction is this. That my fifth prediction will be that Roderick Trump, the Undisputed Era, by the end of this year, or probably by the by by January, there will be an Undisputed Era change in the WWE. What I mean by that, guys, is that the Undisputed Era are going to take every title from the main roster, and they're going to do it on one point, meaning that they can go to Raw or SmackDown. But my sixth prediction, the extra prediction I said, is that you know that con, you know that um that that championship opportunity. I'm willing to bet if Jordan Miles comes out, there, if 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 Adam Cole comes out and makes a promo, and Jordan Miles comes out, that means he's gonna take his opportunity against Jordan Michaels. I mean Jordan Miles, and Jordan Miles will do his opportunity at War Games or later tonight. That's my extra prediction. But. I kind of really want to go into Jordan Miles a little bit, guys. It might be a long video, but I apologize. But I'm going to explain it to you. this. I'm going to explain this to you. The reason why I think Jordan Miles is going to be such a hit when he makes his debut on NXT, like his actual, de- like, you know, brand debut, is the fact that he's just, like, the crowd is into him. The crowd is into him, into him so much, into him so much that they want him. It's like when I read, like these dudes, the, like these dudes they brought to the breakout tournament were really good. The, the crowd loved them. They know what they were doing. They weren't like you know, like, like, like soft, like, you know, like, 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 like puppies. Like you had to train them and do everything. Nah, they trained themselves. And the thing is, you gotta realize it like this. You gotta have to realize it like this. Like I said, I don't, I don't believe a lot of things. But Jordan Miles is gonna do something. See, and this is what I kind of believe too. And this is just gonna be another prediction too. I believe that. I believe that there is going to be a change in the NXT, in the NXT, in the in the foundations of NXT. The reason why I feel like that because if Rita Ripley becomes the women's champion. That means Shane is going to be gone. That means he defeated everybody, but she's waiting for that one person to take that crown, to take the crown away from him, which is Rhea. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with Adam Cole. They don't know who to. They brought Pete because Pete's the guy that can do it, or they'll bring back Trent Seven to make him feel like he can be him. See, and this is the thing you kind of have to realize too, because like I said, NXT is changing day by day, week by week month by month, year by year. And I say this, like I said, I say this, guys, like this. I say this because it's happened. We've had so many generations of NXT Supers. We've had Aleister Black. We've had Bailey. We have guys that basically come from the UK. And the funny thing is, we've had a bunch of guys. We've had Andrade. Andrade. We've had we had a bunch of NXT champions. We've had Samoa Joe. We had uh, Finn Balor. We had a bunch of guys who have done everything in the world together. And this is the thing you got to realize. We've had AJ Styles. Like, the generation of wrestling is changing every day because the fact that the WWE will bring in this talent that will blow everybody's mind. And like I said with Finn, he was something that we've never seen before. I knew about his Prince Devic, Devic, uh, yeah, Devic gimmick a long time ago in, in New Japan. I kind of looked up a couple of things before I even went in NXT. This is way before I became a YouTuber, guys. But like I say, I believe that Adam Cole was everything and the Undisputed is everything they're cracked up to be. Because the, 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 their chemistry isn't like everybody, every other faction that's come before them. NWO, Four Horsemen. Evolution, D-Generation X, like all these, 
all of these 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 these, these factions have come and gone. And the funny thing is. That they'll come in. See, and I'm starting to realize something. I'm gonna say I didn't really get to speak on this. I I believe that Sasha and Bailey are gonna be heels. I believe they're gonna be a fact. There's gonna be a faction coming up in the future. I believe it. I believe there's gonna be something that's changing in the air. Because like I said, Johnson always says there's a change in the air. There's always something going on in the WWE when there's something not to be gone. See, like I said, tonight. Things are going to change, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy NXT as much as I do. But I will give you guys the NXT review, NXT UK review. I would like to say this, and thank you guys for checking out my video. Thank you for the views. Thank you guys for all the support, and I welcome. I would like to have a little bit more subscribers, and we got four. I wish I could get, like, ten, or just, like, two or three subscribers, guys. Thank you for the views, and I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe to the video. Peace.